It is dork out here. Hey, CJ Lewis with the 18 months says appreciate you. Thank you, CJ. Really appreciate that, dude. Can I poke around in the settings menu? Is there an FOV slider? Sure. Let me take a look here. I haven't looked at the options and stuff yet. We've got aim and mouse sensitivity, toggle sprints, invert and hide chat. Okay, cool. And then for here, oh, pop that to windowed, epic graphics, motion blur off, field of view, right there, bada boom. Yeah. Nanny. Um, am I actually using him as a shield? <laughs> oh, this poor little man. Um, cancel. <laughs> he doesn't put him down. He throws him to the side. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> All right, so what's going on right now? Is time passing or something? I... Uh, stop? No, don't... Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what sleeping does. Okay. So let's upgrade you. How do I upgrade you? Um, missions? Yes, base upgrade. Boom. Again. Need a feed box. Okay, so wait, now I can put uh, these in here. Aha! Get to work, my Ghiblies. All right, let's do a feed box. Oh, need more wood. Can I tell him to harvest wood somehow? Man, pal. No, okay. Change the DLSS to quality. Oh, is DLSS on? We shouldn't we shouldn't even have it on? We don't need that. How's that look on the stream? Is that looking good, chat? Looking good. Be right up in my, my dude's butt. Looking good? Great. Perfect. Thank you, chat. What does DLSS do? Uh, DLSS is an NVIDIA technology that basically uh, uses your card to, um, the short of it is it makes the game look a tiny bit worse, but it makes the performance significantly better. That is that is the layman, the layman explanation of DLSS. So game looks a little bit worse, but performance is like, or in some cases like massively better. So in a perfect world, you'd never need to use DLSS. But the thing is, is a lot of times DLSS can take a game from like, you know, 50 frames per second to like 110. So in that case, it's a situation where, especially if you have like a 120 hertz monitor or something, probably want to take advantage of that. What are these guys doing? Oh, transporting. Uh, how do I repair? Oh, I don't have any repair kits. Hold on. I saw those. Repair kit. Oh, I need another tech point. Uh, okay. Hmm. I think I'll wait until we get another tech point. Where is, like, my experience? A lot of devs use DLSS as an excuse to make badly optimized games. Yes, that is a very unfortunate reality these days. Which is even more unfortunate since not everyone can take advantage of DLSS. 
So that's, that's, uh, yeah, not, not super great. Kanto Cosmic. I can't tell if this is someone expressing their love of Pokemon and just wishing the world grew up with us, or if they hate Pokemon with a visceral ferocity and are using this as therapy. Kanto Cosmic, the 27 months. Kanto, I completely agree. And I don't think we'll ever know, to be honest. And you know, it could be both. It could be both. We'll just have to all see together. Uh, let's get the repair kit. What do I need to build this? Ah, beautiful. Let's make uh, a few. Oh, we can just make a repair bench. Okay. Interesting. Code, that's kind of a contradiction to what NVIDIA says about DLSS on their site. Because it says DLSS not only per per uh, improves performance FPS, but it improves the quality of the graphics too. Nanny. Um. No. <laughs> it, I mean... That's not how the technology works. Maybe DLAA, but that's a different technology. Yeah. But no, the, the whole, the whole, the way that DLSS works is it could not, it cannot make it look better with how it functions. Yeah. And DLAA is just a kind of an evolution of anti-aliasing, which is a very common thing. So, yeah. Now I will, I will say you could, you could use the argument that your game running at higher frame rate looks better. But that's that at this point we're getting into marketing. <laughs> at that point we're getting into marketing. So like that's very subjective. Yeah. Not wrong, but subjective. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Hey, for the record, I'm not ragging on DLSS. It's an amazing technology. Like it's it's awesome. There are many, many games that I use DLSS for. It's it's a it's a great tech. You know, you just got to be upfront about how it works and be real about what it is and you know, all that stuff. Should I turn off DLSS? Not necessarily. No, what, what I generally do is I start with DLSS off. And I see how I like it. And then if the performance isn't exactly where I want it, I turn it on. But um, you, you, the, the, the kind of the good place to start is with it off and see how it looks. But most of the time, you're going to want it on. Yeah. in mo Especially especially with, like, the current day AAA games. Because just like somebody said earlier, and this is true, unfortunately, a lot of games kind of rely on DLSS for higher performance. So, like, Cyberpunk is a good example. I play Cyberpunk with DLSS on, even though my machine could possibly be, you know, like a moon-based supercomputer. Um, I still use DLSS. So, you know, it's that kind of thing. If you use ray tracing and stuff like that, like it can balance out pretty quickly. You receive, you'll receive bonus XP for capturing the same type of pal up to 10 times. Interesting. So when we capture pals, do they have randomized stats as well? Hmm. They do. Interesting. Yes, that's accurate. My, my machine was, was literally built by Techno Necromancers from Alpha Centauri, and I still use TLSS. Yep. Look, he's so happy before I start hitting him. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. He just rolls around. Can I pick him up? Please don't tell me I can pick him up. Oh no. Oh, he rolls like a little boulder. Oh God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him to Wyoming real quick. There we go, Yellowstone fans. <clears throat> okay. We're just gonna leave him in Wyoming for now. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I didn't kill any sheep monster thing. We're fine. We're just going to go to the train station. Edgar Games says Yellowstone's rather amazing. Yeah, we just got to season five, me and Lena. Like the first show we've watched in years. We finally got a TV for our bedroom. And uh, we'll be just watch an episode before we go to bed. Show gets crazy. Yeah, it's fun. She just likes the horses. <laughs> a lot of, lot of horse play in that show. 
All right, do uh, I'm guessing pals respawn, right? Like we had some some sheepies over here. What show am I talking about? A uh, show called Yellowstone. It's it's about a, a ranch in the, in the U.S. Western U.S. And time's unstoppable force of commercialization. Mm -hmm. A lot of very real themes in that show. They do respawn eventually. Okay, cool. What's the glowy thing? Uh, that's for Paldium, which is a resource that we can mine and use. My grandma's obsessed with that show. Yep, yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this little guy. Whoa, so that guy has burly body rank three. Hold on, let's go look at this. Challenge the boss at Rain Syndicate Tower? What? Okay. This game's crazy. Now, why isn't somebody picking up all this stuff? Or are they? Hold on. Oh, they do it one item at a time. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Do resources respawn? So like when he when this when this little Kato finally mines this all the way out, will it respawn later? They do. Oh, cool. Okay, well, that works. Great. Little Kato. Is this their life? Why are these guys so hurt? Is this from when I captured them? Like a long time ago? Must be. All right, so let's see. Um, you have Veil of Darkness, 10% increase to dark attack damage. Yeah, you look like you would have increased dark damage. You do, you absolutely do. Um, you have, th oh, this guy's awesome. So wait, this dude has one passive skill, hard skin rank one. This guy, has like four? This guy's a champion. Okay, oh, you put them in the box to heal? Oh, here? Are they healing? Oh yeah, look at that, they're healing a lot faster, okay. This guy's destructive? Wait, 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 what does that mean? Oh, we don't want you. Now, will they gain experience if I use them in the base? Oh yeah, he's level four. They're level four now. Look at that. So we want to level this guy up. Okay. Interesting. So I'll bring I'll bring these guys with me. I guess we need to get like better attack Pokemon here. Oh, excuse me, pals, pals, pals. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I had to keep an eye out for the Nintendo ninjas that were gonna drop through my ceiling and serve me with a copyright notice. All right, Let's put a feed box down. Mm -hmm. Look at Kativa's passive skill. Oh, coward. Oh, that sucks. I'll have to get a new Kato. Can I rename them? Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Barry. Mm-mm. Okay, we need a, we need a pool immediately. <laughs> yeah, we need a we need a pool. Cal, drink something. Yes, sir, Mr. Greg Chun, sir. Okay. Uh oh, another pal upgrade's available. Oh wait, do we need to put food in this? We do. Okay, so let's put a bunch of berries in there. I'm gonna put some lamb bell mutton in so these guys can like eat themselves because that's how that works. Um, your sand is really low. It's not good. How do we help that? Let's we'll see. Uh, okay, let's do an upgrade. Boom. Great. Build a berry plantation and deploy a work pal to the base. Oh, three or four. 
Okay, so uh, first thing we do is we hit F, and then we take our, let's do you. Okay, cool, cool. And then we'll go to here. Berry plantation. Interesting. A ranch. Farm for raising sheep and fowl-like pals. Assign a pal with the appropriate traits to farm to automatically produce items. Well, we gotta do that, I guess. Oh, wait. Did I ever repair my axe? How do I repair this? Uh, I got the repair kits, right? Oh, oh, four. Oh, repair kits only repair structures. Tools for repairing structures. Okay, so we need something different. I need a repair bench. Uh, you. Hey, Mephista. Oh, the pool is open. Awesome. All right. So if you want to be a part of our little pal experience here, uh, just head on over to... Oh, I don't know why all that stuff's saved. Uh, head on over to... Let's see. If you're if you're on the main page like this... Pause this guy. He's, he's not very good. But scroll on down here to the Coalition app. You might have to click a button to sign into here. And then if you click Pool... The lifeguard checks the pool and then you see become a co-pal today and enter the pool like that and this is you're now in the pool and that's how you enter the pool you can do this on mobile too our app is mobile um certified so that works on mobile too because you'll see a little button at the top right of chat you can click has co looked up the clever in the tech tree i don't even know what that means yep. <clears throat> will i be able to find this on youtube and when i have to go now but i really want to continue watching uh this will definitely be on youtube uh, it will be on YouTube later today. It's going to be a little bit later because uh, my artist has some family stuff they got to work on before we get the uh, thumbnail done. But yeah, it'll be on there today for sure. Yep. Okay, let's go. Oh, by the way, so to get into the pool for free is a subscriber perk. If you're a sub to the channel, you can just get in the pool. But if you are not a sub, you absolutely can still get in the pool. And you do that by, um, I think it's on the token store, right, Barry? So if you go to uh, the token store, I think you have the option here, right? Oh, Barry says it'll be on the token store in a second. So you can, you can just buy an entry on the token store. Yeah. And token store, uh, tokens you get for um, just hanging out in the channel. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is a sub perk, but non-subs can absolutely play too. All right, so we have to capture... Th Let's go ahead and, like, find some new pals here. Oh, wait, we got to build this workbench and get that repaired first. Uh, and then I think we're going to go look for some new new kettos and such. Uh, oh, we should probably make some more of these balls. Yeah, let's make a bunch more of these balls. Hey, next Dane claiming a giant sub on Slash Co. Well, awesome, dude. I'm going to go drop that now. Congrats to the 100 folks getting a bunch of emotes and fun stuff over there. Thank you so much, dude. Repo EQ with the 37 months. Thank you, bud. Donka donka. Okay. You. Prepare. Man, we need to get this, uh... There we go. We really need to get, like, a wood generation thing going on here. Hell yeah. There you go. I don't really need more lamb bells. Lamb balls. I'm gonna murderize them. How do I like summon my pals? Oh, yeah. I can only have one at a time? I thought I had like, yeah. oh. So I can only have one at a time, but I have multiple pals. All right. I have no balls. Let's get more balls. The amount of times I've been told that throughout my life, I tell you. It's rough, chat. It's rough. Oh, you can get passive ones? 
You can have more, but it is passive. Okay. You have to upgrade to be able to use more at once. Cool. All right. All good stuff. Need more wood. No surprise there. Always need more wood. Where's my axe? Okay. There we go. <laughs> good show. There it is. Hey, Perrin. What's up, buddy? This is how you chop trees, by the way. Don't question it. Do you have an affiliate link for this game, or do I just buy it off Steam? Well, first of all, I really appreciate you even thinking about that. That's super cool. But no, I don't have any kind of affiliate link or anything. Nope. Just grab it and enjoy it if it's your thing. Feeling down because of bad working conditions. Okay. We'll have to look into that, whatever the hell that means. Uh, berry planted. Ooh. I mean, to be fair, just like my mod team, I am working these guys into the ground. Barry, is everything good on the store and everything? You good to go? Apparently I'm planting, but we're, we're doing it live. Hey, lazy boy. Thanks for your prime sub, dude. Appreciate it. I hope this is working. I think it's working. Thank you, Barry. How's the game so far? Uh, still feeling it out. Not quite sure. Kato is still stressed out. We require a planting to use this. Okay. Oh, that is quite the magical watering can. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's like sending out more volume per minute than is in the entire thing combined. Or actually more like second. What kind of... What, what is... What? <laughs> A fire hose. Okay. Kagutsuchi says, Ko, it's a game. What? How dare you. How dare you. Mm. Welcome to the future. I know. Welcome to the future. Wait, do I still have it? Because it's a game. There we go. Okay. So I don't think any of our current pals have um, planting. Uh, base upgrade. Cool. Pal gear workbench and statue of power. Okay. All right, got another pal working. So this guy. He's got 29 sand. What what can I build to increase sand? Uh, we need more wood and fiber. Let's, let's build this ranch thing real quick. There we go. Need that hot spring? That's a ways off, man. Your boys like this game? Have they seen it? They haven't seen this game yet. Nope. But I'm definitely going to show them this game. I think, I think my boys might absolutely love this game. They play a... Uh, a Pokemon Minecraft. Well, excuse me. I think it's called Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. Legally distinct Pokemon, I think, is the official name of the, the, the mod. But uh, they love it. They play that all the time. So I'm thinking they would probably really like a game like this. Pixelmon. There we go. Thank you. Do I have any status, uh, stat points? No, I don't. Okay. Let's make this, move this over to our crate here. So this game is not for your kids. Yeah, I, th there are some, uh, adult themes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to play it a little bit first before. I mean, the, the premise I think my kids would like, but I'm not super into, um, my kids necessarily like learning how to manage their slave labor um 
I don't feel like that's a, a life skill they need at six and four. Maybe ten and eight, but six and four is a little young, you know, so. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. The co is on fire. I'm hot. I think I'm a little more than hot. Yeah. Um, although, when we run around at night, this would be a great way to stay warm, apparently. From the looks of it. Yeah. Where where is it? Oh, does it does it just like go up? Oh, it just it just goes up. Okay, cool. cool. All right, I need about. Yeah, we'll make sure. You know what? We'll make ten more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So with the farming skill and stuff like that, is that just random? Like, can any creature have farming? Or do, or do I need to get, like, a specific pal? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I don't like that this guy is uh, so pissed off. How do I kill him? Asking for a friend. Um... details I'm gonna bring him with my party Let's put you down here he's destructive how mental stability decreases when working recovers when slacking off or sleeping entertainment facilities and good meals can increase the rate of recovery oh All right, so hold on I don't want to put the destructive guy in there so maybe if we, like, cook some good food? Is someone going to run over and do this? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're harvesting! So wait, you... But you're not a gardener. Hold on. I thought... Are you? Oh, you, oh, 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 you are a garter. You're a gatherer. Wait, you're not, you can't plant, but you can gather. Okay, okay, okay. So here's a question. Do they automatically move food? All right, so I got to think about this. So when this guy's done harvesting, what is he going to do with this? Is he going to put it in our box over here? Or is he going to go cook it first? Maybe have to establish, oh, there goes a. What is cooking? Oh, nobody needs to do cooking. It just does it automatically. Okay. All right, so I have a bunch of baked berries. Let's go put the, oh, they're all going to sleep now. All right, hold on. First, let's put the baked berries in here. They, they haven't eaten a lot of these. I wonder if they prioritize cooked food. I have so many questions. Uh, I need more cloth. Okay, let's do that real quick. Make some actual clothes here. Hey, Vipizzle, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? I, I too, love the mods. I, I appreciate you saying that. Hell yeah, dude. Mods are the best around. Uh, okay. We're gonna do you. Is that it? There's just, like, one piece of armor? There's not, like, legs and arms and stuff? It's just one, one thing? Looks like it. Oh, I'm almost... I'm, I need to eat. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Uh, Sylvan Orion with the 69-month sub. He says, I have 70 ways to make your day better. One is a hug, and the rest is 69. Nice. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you, dude. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some of these. If I eat one of these, how, that, that sounds delicious. How much is this going to help me out here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Let's grab you. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, all right. Dude, look at everyone's sand now. Even, oh, your sand's only 51. We're going to work on you, dude. 
this level.